friends welcome to renville educate channel in this video we will continue the last session the basics of ms excel in the last session we have learned under home tab how to the clipboard features and the font features in this session same under home tab let us learn alignment okay now the the first if you see this is top align this is middle align and this is bottom align similarly align left align center and align right similarly here you can make orientation rotate your text diagonal, diagonally or vertically this is a great way to label narrow columns and there is the option move your content closer to cell border and move your content farther farther away from the cell border and there is a wrap text there is merge and center so let us see these uh, uh features with one example i will write red will educate okay this is the word i have let me make it bigger one okay now the first feature is top the line see now if you see you can if when i click this cell you can see it is showing top align if you want to make it align left you can click that features it is showing align left to make it middle see it came to center to make it right it came to right similarly this feature so whichever features you want you can click so it will align in that position see it will take only two alignment here the down one align and after one align okay so that you need to remember here now see i selected two this is center and this one align text so that it is centered between the top and bottom of the cell so this will take care of the bottom and top of the cell and this will keep your content in the center of the cell okay now there is second which is rotate your text now when you click rotate it will ask angle counter clockwise angle count angle clockwise uh, see i will select this one see how it will rotate so you can see the difference i'll select each one vertical text see how it will changes see this is the way how you can easily align your uh, as i mean say how you can align your text see now more features if you want to align further text alignment it will take you to one more window that is alignment okay next let me move on i'll i will keep this uh, to normal okay anyway let me keep in this way okay next uh, feature i have is decrease indent now let me keep more indent next i will keep decrease indent okay if you want to increase say this is decrease this is increase see you can see the difference of these two features next is wrap text now what i will do to understand this i will make the cell smaller whereas the uh, text is going outside of the cell so to fit within that cell i'll just use wrap text feature you can see it will bring the text within that cell so you can see that text in that cell clearly 
now for example you can see uh, this uh, this data sorry this text in only one cell if you want to include two three cells what you have to do select this text where you have the text sorry where you have the cell and select other two blank cells you cannot merge the two text cell you can merge only one text cell with the un uh, with the blank cells so i selected the c3 d3 e3 and go to merge and center so your three cells are merged and your text is aligned in the middle of middle of that cell okay next coming to number features see now you have in the drop down the various type of numbering formats this is general let me write uh, any number for example i'll write for example uh, 10000 okay let me make it big font color make it uh, center okay now this 10000 first it is in the number format if you want to change with the decimal see select the decimal if you want to change as a currency if you want to change as a currency the default currency you are taking is aev you can change this currency by going here here or there is an option here go to format and go to select the currency and whichever currency you want i will take as usd okay so usd is selected next if you want to say change this number into date see you select the date the, the same number change to date if you want to see the long date with the uh, days and blah blah so this is the option so whichever if you want to see the timing so it will give the time and if you want to see the percentage 10,000 it will give 100,000 here it, it is showing in a percentage okay see that this is fraction and scientific if you see this want to see the scientific number select the scientific okay let me keep it same 10,000 next you you saw this an uh, accounting number format these are the currencies which we want to change for example if you want to keep a uh, dollars you can keep it dollar okay next if you want to change percentage you can change percentage you can keep the comma and you can increase the dot decimals you can decrease the decimals and these are the some numbering formats showing under home menu now we can go to next uh, this one that is conditional format in conditional formatting c uh, for example i will uh, show you in one more tab 200 300 400 250 make it marks okay any uh, student marks okay and make it little bigger okay now conditional formatting these are the styles basically styles uh, first let me go to highlight greater than okay highlight greater than say 200 first you have to select that text then you have to go to these uh, conditions see there are conditions different conditional formatting greater than less than between equal text that contains a date occurring duplicate values this is the conditional formatting in different scenario you can use uh, whichever uh, you want see now i have given the conditional formatting here highlight greater than which value 250 so the value which is more than 250 is highlighted in red color the color whichever color you want to select you can select that color similarly now if 
here top three values you want to see see the top three values it is selected but the color also you can uh, you can change whichever you want okay there are different here top 10 items top 10 uh, bottom 10 bottom 10 percentage like this then date bar see these are the date bars okay green add a color data bar to represent the value in a cell the higher the value the longer the bar you can see see the higher the value the longer the bar see this is has full bar this as little less and this uh, this as more I mean this is the full this is little less and this is little less so this is how the uh, uh, data bars then color scales now color scales to red white blue you can change whichever color I will keep this color see there are different colors you can see how there is a red green like this and icon sheet so for example let me see see here this has little less bar and there is what what is called i just put now icon a new icon to represent this as a unique this thing unique uh, uh, format okay then to clear these rules okay to create new rule you have to go to new rule okay we in uh, whenever uh, i think i have explained this in my previous examples and even i can explain in a separate example in the future videos so here if you want to clear all these formats go to here clear from rules okay so you can go here and you can clear rules again so this is the text back to normal okay so this is all about the conditional formatting next uh, week i'll explain format as a table cell style uh, cell styles and this will keep on continue in the next videos friends thank you for watching this video if you like this video kindly write a nice comment below the description and if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel so that I can explore this Excel knowledge to more and more people. Thank you friends once again.